So I've shut down these two builders. Uh, the cells, the last of the cells come out of them here today. And now they're empty. These guys have been going for three weeks. I've been adding brood frames to them, cycling a brood frame through them, and uh, shaking bees into them just to, you know, keep these builders going to build me out because of some good cells. But they're getting old now, so it's time to shut them down anyway. So what I'm going to do with these two builders before I shake them out to boost some colonies is I want to um, put this test patty to a real hard test. Uh, the chef doesn't know I'm doing this, and he's probably going to freak out when he, he watches this uh, on YouTube. What I'm going to do is I've left these guys without a patty for the last five days. Just working on pulling. These guys uh, have the test patty inside them. And I've also um, bumped up the syrup a little bit with his, uh, like he's got all these types of ideas. So he's got me the secondary program I'm going on with my syrup too. So these guys are on the bumped up syrup and they have patty in them. These guys are going to go straight on pollen. So I'm going to make sure that there's no pollen in this test hive. And what I'm going to test out is I'm going to get Kerry to graft into these two colonies uh, probably tomorrow because it's going to start raining uh, tomorrow and into Saturday so there's no nourishment coming in and these guys are going to be absolutely dry no pollen resource inside except for the patty these guys are going to have frames of pollen in beside uh, the graft frames and I'm just wanting to test to see how effective this test patty actually is I'm going to have Kara drop in a, a frame of uh, cells then we're going to give them three or four days and then I'm going to harvest out all the royal jelly and weigh the two to see which one produces the most royal jelly. And I'm anticipating the pollen because nothing beats real pollen. It's just the way it is. But I want to see how close his test patty comes to the real pollen. And what I need though is a... I need a negative control too. I don't have another colony for a negative, negative control. Those other ones are still going. But if this trial is somewhat uh, interesting, maybe I'll run a second one with a negative control too. Um, one that doesn't have pollen and the one that doesn't have patty and just straight empty comb and see how they draw out the cells. So I'm just going to take a look inside to see what kind of resource they have first off. There's lots of bees in here still. So they're a builder and they have syrup. This is the syrup that hasn't been bumped up. These guys are very well fed. Lots of honey inside here. I just, I'm not looking, see they're drawing out the foundation. I'm not looking for uh, honey stores, like sugar stores. I'm looking for pollen right now. These guys have pollen in the frames. Lots of pollen here. So Carrie's been cycling, the frames are pulling through quite nice. Typically as we're working through the apiary, uh, we find a nice sheet of pollen that's typically on the outside of the nest. We will take that, and we'll let it sit in the shop for a couple days and then we'll drop them in. This one has lots of pollen there. So these guys have lots of pollen in the hive here. Oh yeah, here too. So they got lots of uh, lots of reserves. These guys are set up, so they'll take the graft tomorrow. And we'll just make sure there's no pollen in this hive. Lots of bees. So these guys are eating. This is the test patty. They're just devouring this stuff. I really like this stuff because it uh, it's soft, it stays soft, it doesn't dry out, and it holds itself up firm so you don't have any of the drippage issues. And the bees that devour it. Compliments to the chef. And there's a bit of pulling in there so we're going to take this out.
delicious syrup. Nothing, yeah, there's a bit in here. We'll take this one out too. There's hardly any, but I don't want any pollen in this builder when I'm running this test, because I, I don't want to see an influence of pollen on how they uh, build out these cells. This one's just syrup. This one's a little shy in pulling any. Oh, here's a lot of pulling here. We're gonna pull that one out. And this is just a honey fruit. These guys are building out on the feeder. Okay, so. Place these guys with. We'll get some comb. So this is just from the storage shed. Just some empty comb. Actually, here's a little bit of honey in this one. I'm just going to get a frame of foundation. So this frame is where the graft frame is going to go. Keep them on the supplement. So tomorrow I'll have carry graft and drop a couple frames uh, into each one of these colonies. One frame in here and one frame in here. And we'll get through Saturday. Saturday's supposed to be rainy and cold. And then maybe I'll take a peek on Sunday and on Tuesday, Wednesday, mm -hmm. something like that. We'll take these frames out and we'll scoop out the rail jelly and all the cups. And we will see the difference between the amount of royal jelly in this colony as compared to this colony. You'll see the difference in the royal jelly between the test colony without any type of uh, protein resource. We'll see the difference in royal jelly production with uh, strictly supplement protein as compared to natural protein. This should be interesting. We'll see what's up.